सिंक Hey, how are you doing? Welcome back to part two of the circus show. Wow, we love it here. So this channel called Real Life Talk、uh, traced my art for their really clickbait and fake videos. They also proceeded to delete my comments, trying to reason with them. So that meant war. There are two videos that I know so far that they traced my art on. The first one was called "I Am Allergic to the Mask." Uh, that video got seven hundred thousand views, which is incredible. <laughs> a lot of people wanted me to do a part two, so here it is. They did it again, fellas. I actually don't know how to word this right. It's not like they did it again after I made the video. It was more so that they already did it before I made the video, two times. So yeah, English.、Mm-hmm. So both of the characters that they traced for both of the videos belong to a series I made of social media apps as girls. Yeah, this one this time it's Instagram that's traced. We love it. We love that. What are they gonna do next? Snapchat, Pinterest? Who knows? The options are limitless. So it, <laughs> I just, I'm not even holding the microphone to my head face. Oh. This is starting off great. I I can't even position the microphone right. So, you know, I'm not gonna drag this on any longer. Let's watch their video. It's called, "I was pregnant for 18 months." Why? 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 Why can't they steal my character for a title that's like, um, I donated all of my life savings to charity. Oh, um, I'm I'm too gorgeous to be seen. On Earth, why does it have to be dogs? Strap in. Hey, my name is Valerie, and I'm about to tell you about a really uncommon situation that I'm going through. I honestly can't imagine that you've heard of anything like it before. Is it your eyes? Jesus Christ, woman! Get those checked. Two years ago, I graduated from high school. My boyfriend Jeff and I spent our last year of school doing lots of odd jobs so we could save up money for our trip. Yo, Debbie Ryan has some competition. This girl just straight up stole her whole identity. <laughs> is that mean? That yeah, it is, isn't it? But I was so focused on the places that we were visiting that I totally forgot about my period. Yeah, I know that you should pay attention to it, but time passed so fast I couldn't remember that my period hadn't come in three months. Now she's coming for Aiden Gallagher's career with that smile. Anyways, like Valerie proclaimed, her period didn't come for tr- three months. Ah, I've been working on my pronunciation. No more trees. But she wasn't showing any pregnancy symptoms at all, so she didn't pay it any mind. Oh yeah, and also this frame exists, and if I had to see it, then so do you. We kept traveling for the next two months, and then finally, the six months had passed by, and our trip was over. I spent a few days in Florida packing and saying goodbye to my family and friends. Then I went to Washington D.C. alone. I wanted my mom to come help me. <laughs>、mm. I can't tell if this is traced also, but at least they put in the effort to come up with their own original color scheme. Wow, well done, real life talk. You really outdid yourself this time. Listen, I don't want to be mean. I would never make fun of someone's art if they were genuinely, you know, trying to improve or genuinely just trying to do it for fun. I support it completely, but listen, this is a corporation who does not give any fricks at all about the content they're putting out. As long as it gets people's views, the clout, anything, they don't care to put in any effort to make the thing actually look good, and they sure as hell don't care what people say about them. In the end, it's about the money. Actually, this video I'm not sure if it's monetized. The previous one I'm not sure as well, since it's talking about the virus and YouTube doesn't like that. But either way, they both got clout and a lot of views from it. So yeah, they don't care. They're probably glad that I'm making this video because it's giving them more attention.、Uh, but I like attention too, so <laughs> win-win. It's still it's still very insulting though. Like trace her. Better. Do I have? Do I have to trace my own art for them? They can't put in the effort to draw to something themselves, even if it looks like crap. So they'll trace and make it look like crap. Oh yeah, and、uh, this frame exists. So not only did they give my other daughter 
the durian ass looking hair. I dropped the most eye bleeding color for her hair and completely gave up at the clothes. They also gave her arm scoliosis. You could calculate the Pythagoras theorem with this. Woo! We love a woman of maths. Moving on, Valerie talks about how, you know, with moving to a new university's dorm and everything, she forgot about a period even more. And after she settled down, she realized that her period hadn't come for six months. Oh, that is, that is the dream. Also, this room exists. I'm sorry, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> so she wasn't showing any symptoms, but she noted that her belly was getting a little bit bigger, but not so much that you would expect from someone who's six months pregnant. But she thought it was due to other reasons. Anyway, she still went to a hospital to get that checked in case there was, you know, something going on there. The doctor got her to do some tests and lo and behold, Valerie was indeed pomegranate. Pregnant. <laughs> Immediately, I went back to the doctor's office and he made me take an ultrasound. And I could notice that he was just super confused when he was looking at the sonogram. Why is he so angry? <laughs> I know she said that he was super confused, but isn't that the symbol for anger? God damn it! This woman is pregnant! So the doctor then proceeded to dash out of the room, talking hurriedly into a phone with zero explanation to her, which is probably the most reassuring thing you could do to your very confused 19-year-old patient. He contacted another doctor to get um, more advice on Valerie's case, and Valerie is so shocked and confused that she changed eye colors. We waited a little while, and then the other doctor showed up. He was watching the sonogram with his partner, and they both looked super astonished. And it was awful. They were being so silent, and it was really awkward. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, sweet lord. So after she demanded an explanation, they told her that they needed to discuss this further. Uh, before letting her know what's up. An hour later, they came back explaining to Valerie that her baby was growing at a very slow pace and that it's not gonna take the average nine months it takes for other women to develop fully. This part is actually pretty sweet. She's decided to wait until the baby was ready to come out uh, instead of rushing it and forcing it to get out within nine months because that would risk, you know, that would cause a higher risk of underdevelopment or death. In fact, it was so sweet that uh, Dr. Phil showed up. <laughs> I decided to wait until whenever he's ready to come out. I didn't want him to die or anything. And what made me nervous was the thought of Jeff and his parents' reaction. He has a big future ahead of him as a baseball player, and he's not ready to have a kid. When I saw this, I was thinking, this looks too good not to be traced. And a quick Google search told me that I was right. Here is the original. You know, at least they don't discriminate. They'll trace from 16-year-olds on Instagram. They'll trace from anime. They'll trace from memes, from stock images, from clip art. They'll trace from anything. Go, girl, give us diversity. Valerie told her parents and they were very angry. I appreciate the effort put in here to keep the neon pink eyelashes. Thank you, that, that means a lot to me. I don't even know where I would be without that very defining characteristic. She went back to Florida to try and find another doctor that could help her through this. But for some reason, almost every single doctor there said that they would only deliver the baby in 9 months. It's not like her water is gonna break or anything in 9 months. She's not gonna be able to give birth. You, what are they gonna do? Force it? Yank it out? But in the end, she finally found one doctor who was willing to help her through this. Months passed by, and then another month, and another month, and so on. And the doctor said, my son wasn't ready. It had been 18 freaking months. Some mothers might say that it's so incredible that I'm creating a deep connection with my son, but it's not. Because cause you're not real. You're not real, Valerie. You, you're not real. Right now, I'm suffering. I'm in constant pain. My belly seems like it's going to explode at any time, and my water still hasn't freaking broken. My whole body is just sore, and my back is killing me. I can't even walk. I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, that, that is very badly proportioned. I love how shocked her voice actress sounds. Uh, she's just like, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> Like this is some random event. She just woke up one day, 18 months pregnant, and uh, on a wheelchair. 
you know, I'm thinking, should I just draw a pregnant woman on a wheelchair and post it for them to trace? So at least it look, can look decent? <laughs> because right now, Valerie isn't just 18 months pregnant. Each of her body parts are also facing a different angle. I'm starting to think that this doctor didn't do his research so good, and he has no idea of what he's doing. Literally, nobody has had this happen to them ever. Because A, it's not real, and B, if it was real, what do you want him to do? Your water ain't broken, and your baby isn't fully developed yet. I mean, he could always C-section the baby, but she said herself, in her own words, that she was gonna wait until the baby was ready to come out. Why are you blaming the doctor for not doing research when there was no research out there to be done? <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the video. It was pretty short. Honestly, this one was much more entertaining than the last one, mostly because everything was just 10 times more stupid. I don't know how they managed to do it. So for people who actually think that this is real, the longest recorded you know, pregnancy was, I think, 12 months. So Valerie would be dead by now. <laughs> so this is definitely fake. 100% please don't believe this thing. If it was real and it just wasn't recorded, that is a extremely slim chance. Anyways, I'm glad that you guys liked my previous video. I hope you liked this one too. The, they didn't turn the comments off, which is oh, pretty decent of them to do. But it also shows that they're not actually trying to hide this. I th before that, they were deleting the comments rapidly. But now I think they're just trying to take advantage of the situation to get more views. But you know what? I'm getting more views too, so I'm gonna make this. <laughs> it still sucks that my art got traced, but there's a lot of small artists out there who probably got their art traced too. And at least I have a platform to voice, to, you know, alert other people. If you're a small artist or if you know one who got your art traced by this kind of channels, DM me on my Instagram, let me know, and I'll see what I can do to help you out. So yeah, bye!